Hello Kids fans, how are you all? It's Scrappin' Ames, or Ames here, and I'm up with my third project. Third? I think it's my third project for me. Oh, I'm a bit confused. I don't really know. Can't keep track. And I'm going to apologise straight off the bat because I think my voice sounds a bit croaky, and this is another, I've, I've lost track, attempt at trying to do this voiceover for you. Um... So I have lost my voice and then it comes back and yeah, so I'm just going to get it done and hopefully it sounds this time okay for you. <laughs> uh, I am actually going to, this layout is uh, inspired by one of this month's sketch challenges. <clears throat> so the one with the two photos on it. Um, I haven't done a sketch challenge, I realise, in months and months and months. In any sketch challenge, not just the Kidaholics one, but a sketch challenge in general. I was doing them nearly every month, pretty much. And I'm thinking I needed one, just to really give me some direction. So here I go. So before I actually set my photos down in place, I'm working on some background pieces here. Because in the sketch, which... I normally put it at the beginning, but I kind of have forgotten. Uh, in the sketch, there's a bit of layering kind of behind the photos first. So there's kind of these strips here, which I'm using our Kaiser Craft sticker book uh, that we got in the kit this month, as well as the washi, which may have come in the embellishment kit for me. <clears throat> uh, and you can see the Kaiser sticker book here. So that big floral piece and then these little like washi type strips, I guess, border strips as well. Uh, the page was on a bit of an angle when I was doing that before. That's why it kind of looked a little odd. Uh, don't worry, don't turn your screens around. Um, so I'm just working on those background pieces first. So that's what you uh, can see there. I was contemplating doing a little bit of mixed media, uh, but kind of was just keeping it a little a little simple and I've got the stamp sitting there next to me because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use those as some sprinkly pieces uh, in my layout but you'll just have to wait and see if they pop up now this giant Heidi swap tag that is in our kit I actually find it far too big for a tag I think personally I get why it's there and I get the list side of it but to me, it is just far too giant for a tag. So for me, it was always going to be a layering piece. Uh, and I had it sitting out since I've planned this layout out, since looking at the sketch. Uh, but it was then too big to go with this photo. And I just didn't like it then. It just too big, too big, too big. Uh, so then I moved across to the... Um, I think the orange comes from the, the Kaiser Craft collectibles, or the die cuts. Yeah. Uh, so it's a frame basically turned upside down is the orange piece. And I was playing around with the black piece as well. Because there is some, there's like a large kind of um, piece behind the photo, poking out at the top of the photo in the sketch. Um, I'm not going to make it as large. Um, I don't think I do. I can't even remember. I've only just finished this editing all of this and I cannot even remember. Um, anyway, you'll see in a minute. So I'm just playing around. Basically, I'm just kind of, you know, I always manipulate sketches. If you know me from my channel and even from on here, you know me with sketchable sketches. Oh, I can't even talk properly. Um, I always stick to a bit of the guts of them and then I manipulate a bit so which is cool with sketches that that's always good to to do that um, so as this says I have that large piece in the background at the top of this second photo uh, and that's what I'm using this frame for I'm not gonna it's not gonna be too large uh, now I'm gonna use this piece of pattern paper to create the two uh, kind of photo mats that are in uh, behind both photos uh, one as you can see I've cut out a bit here because I have to fight with my trimmer because the blade needed replacing and it wasn't cutting properly so then ugh, all kinds of drama uh, so I basically used the A and B side of one single piece of pattern paper because I really liked the both of them uh, and both the wood grain and this pink kind of contrasted well off the sticker I used as well as the blue 
uh, and white colored background I thought it just popped up a bit and made the photos really pop up a bit as well um, so one side's a banner <coughs> excuse me and one side's just a strip and that's what I'm doing here so again that guts of the sketch is what I'm sticking with a bit as well and my photos are basically two photos that are from a lengthy what will be a lengthy project life pages uh, of a million photos I took when I took the kids to Cockington Green back in March last year so like over 12 months ago it's really so far behind on my albums it's not funny uh, so I really liked these photos um, and really they were the two that sort of I sort of had them in groups the photos in groups and these were the two that went together really well I liked the colors in them I thought they matched the the kit really well as well so I thought meh they worked really well together I'm putting them together uh, so yeah I knew I wanted to do the sketch for this design team project now I muck around with the uh, title here because the lovely Louise on the design team has challenged me over the weekend because I was supposed to do a lot more scrapping than I actually have done um, so to use the thickers um, these lovely um, chipboard thickers and so I am but I do not use this one they are far too big for this section I was gonna put like sunshine day <clears throat> excuse me or something like that in the end they're too big they don't look right too chunky for that section so I end up going with something smaller on that same thicker chipboard thickers and it goes happy day that was it nice simple and completes my challenge tag your it now Louise <laughs> I can't share in the group until this goes live tomorrow I think maybe because it is late because I haven't been able to do this voiceover hopefully this makes it to the end um, yes all right so I'm working through now I'm gonna play around with my printables so this section of the uh, sketch has some strips and some sprinkly bits now instead of adding some like mixed media here for the sprinkly bits I'm actually going to use um, the printables I've decided to add the sprinkly bits so I'm just journaling on the tag here a oh, little strip uh, and so one of the strips are this pattern strip then a word piece or phrase piece and then my journaling strip the sprinkly bits are going to be these flowers from the different die cuts so our exclusive die cuts for the month as well as I think there was some from in the Kaiser craft ones as well or maybe the Heidi no the Kaiser craft ones as well so as you can see I'm laying them in underneath the strips as well I just thought that was a different again a different take on the little sprinkly dots that were around on the sketch So just adding them on with some wet glue because they're a bit too on my my uh, double-sided tape is really thick so it just doesn't fit on these strips very well and then I added this bigger piece kind of just to tie off the, the sprinkly pieces just to add the date which is more a month and year because um, I know it was the long weekend in March but I couldn't be bothered to really actually look at exactly what the date of the long weekend in that March was so I just wrote month and I did put my photos on I'm sure I kept it in there I did but I didn't see it come up but I'm doing this the photos are on double-sided um, no not double-sided craft foam so they're given a layer a 3d element to it like a dimensional element to it just to give them up off that background strips of um, stickers as well as the paper a little bit too I didn't want them too flat I just think it, to me it looked a little bit too boring uh, as and um, I just thought it gave that bit of interest and bit of dimension to to the page as well instead of everything just sitting flat because the stickers were flat the, the strips were flat everything was going to be really flat uh, just give that little bit of extra oomph um, I then wanted to bring in the wood veneer 
from the kit as well because I like to try and use all the bits and pieces. Uh, again, sprinkly bits at the top. Instead, I went a bit sprinkly bit larger. Uh, and I used the wood veneer to start that bit off. And then I found this piece and I thought I really liked this here and now. That was a bit of a random find in amongst, I think, the Heidi Swap stuff. Just having a look for some more sprinkly bits for the right hand side here and I, I really liked the look of those little like star I think well, star flowers pieces but the joined together and I could cut them but then they would look old and I liked the shape that I wanted to keep them for another project basically so instead I'm playing around a little bit here and then I go with these leaves to go on that wood veneer flower um, and I really liked, I did really like how that looked. And that's sort of my, my time, my, my manipulation of the sketch and its little sprinkly dotty pieces around the top section of the sketch. Now, to me, the page looked incomplete still I did sit there for a bit going this dust doesn't seem finished so I thought I'll add a doodly border just to sort of really ground everything into the page into that center because that sort of seemed to be where everything was working is in the middle um, so I do that here um, and add sort of a thick double line Just adding some little squiggly pieces and for me it's still not finished so I then add my Kaiser Craft shimmery um, spray iridescent spray thing give it a big a really good shake uh, and I add, end up adding some sprinkly bits on that way so with the gold I really love this gold this is a great replacement for the Heidi Swap color shine um, I'm not sure if it's available in the Kidaholic shop. You'll have to pop over and have a look. But then that is my layout for this one completed. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I do apologize for the crackly voice, but it's lasted. So you've got this video done. I will see you again really soon with my next project. See you later. And don't forget to have a go with the sketch. There's two this month. Bye.